What's going on everyone? We just checked out Rainbow Six Quarantine at the Ubisoft E3 press conference. I'm here with Bio, lead game designer on Rainbow Six Quarantine. Bio, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. So tell us a little bit about this game. Quarantine is a squad-based tactical shooter for three players at the time. So I can play the entire thing with two other friends? Yes, you can, the whole game. That's awesome to hear. Can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this game? Well, it's a brand new core team that was formed here in Ubisoft Montreal. And it's a huge Rainbow Six fan that wanted to take a poke at it with a PvE co-op aspect that really wanted to bring a new experience. This being Rainbow Six Quarantine, I have to ask, is there a link between this and Rainbow Six Siege? There is. You will see a lot of familiarities when you play, everything related to gunplay and also using your gadget, tactic, and destruction. Uh, but you don't have to be a Rainbow Six Siege player to play Quarantine. It's a good place to pick up and start within the brand. So you teased a few things going on here. We see some enemies that don't quite seem human. We see possibly something happening with this person's arm. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's happening? Wouldn't you like to know, huh? You can't have everything at the first time. So it's a teaser. We need to tease you a little bit, but it's just gonna come up. Okay. But there's some things I definitely saw that I think we can talk about. All right. At the very end there, was that Ella and Vigil? That was. You got a good eye. And what was the decision to include operators from Siege in quarantine? Because they're awesome and they're really deep, varied. They bring a lot to the battlefield. And, you know, an operator is not just a weapon, a gadget, an ability. They're a whole personality. People like them. They already create fan art and fanfic about them. However, Using those operators in that new context really make them different. They feel not the same as you would have them in Rainbow Six Siege because you are in a PvE context, you're in co-op, you're in a squad, you want to be a tactical and tackle your objectives. You're going to see it's going to feel very different even though the operators are familiar. Ah, that's awesome. I can't wait to play it. When and where exactly will people be able to pick it up? You'll be able to pick it up on Xbox One, PS4 or PC in 2020. Awesome, thank you so much. Well, thank you.